Hello guys, so in this video I will explain you about uh, how you can treat the two numerical variables if you have in the data set and what you can do with that. So oh, the best of what you can do with the two numerical variables is to check the uh, correlation and for visualization purpose what you can do is you can plot the scatter plot. So what is a scatter plot? Uh, it is uh, just uh, the observations in the x-axis. Uh, uh, you choose the x-axis and the y-axis. You can do a 2D sca scatter plot or the 3D scatter plot. Right now, I'm showing you the 2D scatter plot. So, in the 2D scatter plot, you choose any two numerical variables. Uh, this is this is a video for two numerical variables. What you do is that in the last video, I have explained you that you have to put the data frame in this data argument, and then instead of writing geom underscore histogram, right now, what you will do is just write geom underscore point and you have to give the two names now because we are taking two numerical variables one is x axis and the y axis so h numerical variable and the y is lwt numerical variable color you can choose of the data points as blue and the size of the data points to be you can choose according to the number of observations you have so you can choose two right now and alpha is actually the transparency of the uh, data points so if there are a lot of data points overlapping with each other what you can choose is transparency so you can make the data points to be transparent so that you can look through the data points because some of the data points may be overlapping with each other so if you reduce the transparency it will be better to have a look on the observations uh, otherwise you won't uh, look the observations which are overlapping on top of each other so you can tweak these parameters color you can choose yourself size you can choose alpha also you can choose yourself on the x-axis you can choose as continuous because it is you can choose either discrete and continuous if discrete is mostly used when you have integer values and uh, continuous is used when you have uh, decimal values also uh, i have chosen right now as continuous because it makes more sense to take it as a uh, continuous and now the x-axis the name is h and the y-axis name is written as lwt in the y and the breaks you take is from 0 to 50 and 5 and uh, lwt ranges from 0 to 300 and with a spacing of 50 so for h it ranges from 0 to 50 with a gap of 5 and lwt which is a weight ranges from 0 to 300 with a spacing of 50 you can give the name of this uh, plot here h and lwt and this is a relation or you can say that it is a scatter plot and you can choose the background of this as theme underscore pw i hope you have understand this uh, where you just have to give the three parameters one is the data which is uh, here which is data name is data frame uh, whatever you should make it but here right now it is the data frame name and the geo underscore point you have to give the x-axis name and the y-axis name and then you can give all these values and just select this and hit control enter you see the uh, scatter plot here the name is here on the top relation between h lwt x-axis name is there age y-axis name is here in lwt and 2d scatter plot is here you can see that we have the data points lying all over here what we can see here is if there is a relation between them sometimes they are very uh, following some linear train right now we cannot say too much about it because there is not much of uh, some relation in this but of course you can see the distribution in if the age is increasing does lwt increases or not but there is if you if you fit a line in the middle of this data cloud you can see that uh, line is going straight above there is significant there is a some relation that it is increasing trend as the age is growing that lwt is also growing a little bit uh, so there is a correlation uh, but we are not focusing on that correlation factor here right now uh, what uh, we want to do is just to do the scatter plot of these two variables numerical variables so i think uh, it is uh, it is clear that if you have two numerical variables 
you what you can do is you can use the geom underscore point function and then you can plot these two numerical variables in the next video i will be showing you that if you have two numerical variables and one categorical variable how you can see the relation between uh, three variables at a time so thanks for watching this video